that one day isn't going to mess it all up. Hey guys, Michael here from Fat to Fit. Now, in today's video, it has been inspired by yesterday, which was the 13th of July, or if you're in America, it's probably still the 13th of July. But the importance of the 13th of July is it was my birthday. So happy birthday to me. I am now officially 22 years old, so yay. But the reason I am telling you guys about this is because at least once a week, I probably get a question asking about uh, calories and macronutrients on special occasions, birthdays, holidays, etc. I like to go by the motto that when it's your birthday, calories don't exist. So what I mean by that is on your birthday, don't worry about tracking anything. Don't worry about tracking your calories or your macronutrients. It's your birthday. It was the day you were born. You should enjoy yourself. It doesn't necessarily mean go on a massive binge and eat force yourself to eat thousands and thousands of calories like the 10k calorie challenge or something like that but not having to worry about what you're eating not having to track anything enjoying food with your friends and family that's what your birthday is about and that's what you should do you shouldn't be um, worrying about dieting or anything like that if you are a cut treat it like a cheat day just have that break off you shouldn't I wouldn't die during my birthday anyway, but just keep that in mind because you don't want to be having that those thoughts in your mind and then the next day after your birthday, you're going to be feeling all guilty because you thought you've messed up. That is not something you want to do. So your birthday, I think, should totally be an off day from um, the gym, unless you really want to go to the gym. I didn't go to the gym yesterday. Um, from counting calories, etc., etc. Now, this can kind of extend to other things like holidays, Christmas, uh, Easter, or whatever holiday you might celebrate. Those days, I don't think you should be as free with your calories, although I think you totally can if it's your decision. But those days, I think you should uh, let loose a little bit and just enjoy the time with your friends and family and enjoying the food. Like food is such a central part of every single culture. It's what everything revol yeah, revolves around when it comes to these celebrations. So I don't think you should be restricting yourself so much, even if it's just like Christmas and you're dieting or if it's uh, somebody else's birthday, just having a dinner with them, that's perfectly fine. One day isn't gonna screw up weeks or months or years and years of hard work that you have put into your body and to your health. That one day isn't going to mess it all up. Although some people associate that one day messing up, or oh, if I mess up on this day, I'm going to keep messing up and it's going to get worse and worse. That's the only time it becomes a problem where you enjoy yourself on that day and then it just keeps going on and on and one day turns into one week, one week turns into one month, one month turns into six months and that's where it starts to get out of hand and become a problem. But that actual one day isn't going to hurt you and it's something that a lot of people tend not to realize especially if they're trying to lose weight as it can be quite confronting with all that food there but you just it's a mental thing people have to accept uh, people have to learn to accept and learn to deal with throughout their journey whether they're cutting bulking trying to lose weight trying to gain weight etc it's something you have to learn to deal with because you don't want to be restricting yourselves and missing out on what life has to offer like you go to the gym and you cut uh, the fat off your body yeah because you want to look better but also you should be doing it because you want to look look and feel healthier you want to be healthier and a part of that is your mental health not just your physical health so if you're not all there um, in your head because you're dieting cutting you're missing out on occasions with friends or family you're socially isolating yourself then you have to ask yourself is it really worth it and should you be restricting yourself so much that you're not enjoying life I, I don't think it's worth it at all and I don't think it's something you should be doing 
Anyway, there's my little spiel. I hope that answered some of the questions you guys have been sending me. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. Send me an email if you have any questions or if you just want to talk to me. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one, guys.